Hey my lovelies and welcome back to the channel and episode 2 of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch mini-series. And I already filmed part of this episode but realized that my microphone was off and no sound was recorded. Which feels typical for me. So we did a few things. We took care of the farm. We added some pictures to the home that I'm going to show later. We played with the chicken. We learned... They see how to sit and we bought a bookcase so these two can work on their skills by reading books. But they are working from home now. Uh, I already had her tutor student online so we received some money and I had them go into the Foxbury Commons. This creator will be in the description down below. So they can actually do a little bit of work that they need to do because he needs to crash an engineering course and he can only do that over here in this building so that's why we are here now and not at our little home we brought daisy with us because i actually wanted them to go play so right before you go in wait a little bit give me the ball in your inventory so we're gonna give it to may so she can learn to play fetch with them but i had her knit a beanie as well so we have a cute orange tiger beanie and aside that not much happened, uh, we are here now, she's gonna conduct some research. I selected gardening innovations because I thought it would be nice to have her learn how to garden and build up her gardening skill. But after she is done with that, she's gonna feel the love from Daisy. She's gonna hug her dog and she's gonna do a little bit of fetch training. But I think Daisy is just gonna look like, what is this modern place? Where is my barn? Where is my space? Where is my better view? Like, she's probably not used to this building. But I think we're gonna bring her more often here in case it's necessary. Um, in case we need to do some jobs that we can only do here. I may buy some things that we can put in the house if we have a bigger wrench but we need a lot more money for that to build the wrench that I want with the things that I want and that I have planned but of course we need the money and we also need to pay bills which is 710 simoleons so we cannot even pay the bills right now like all the money will go straight into the bills and into keeping up the farm and buying some animals like we cannot even buy the animals because all of our money will probably be gone so no chatting with ivan focus on your research so we may need to start working hard just working hard doing a little bit of grinding i think carson is gonna do a little bit of digging around here as well just so we can get some stuff to sell and i may if we have the money left buy a selling table so we can sell through the selling table and not through our inventory just because it's a bit more realistic. Oh, you actually need to use the toilet. Do that first. But just because it's a bit more realistic to use the selling table and sell from there. Than just selling directly from your inventory. So I'm also going to have everything that May knits. That we're not going to keep. I'm actually going to have her listed on Popsy as well to sell. So this one, we're actually gonna list on Popsy. It's gonna cost us some money, but hopefully in the long run, it will make us some money. But yeah, we're just gonna focus on our job. And I think in the evening, we're gonna have a visit to the dance bar to see what's more in town, to see what the, the town looks like a little bit more and hopefully have a little bit more of a fun time instead of just doing some grinding. Alright, so we have arrived at the Chestnut Ridge Dance Hall, which was created by Sim Cubies. And it's this amazing western looking nightclub where we have a dance floor, we have a place for a band, we have seating areas. And I think they're gonna head over to the bar and request some food to, so they can order something. So why don't you order some... Mm, I think he would order some currywurst, for example. Maybe some currywurst. 
And let's see what would she depending on what the plate is, but I think she's gonna order a drink first for the whole group. So let's see what we can order. I actually have some um yeah, here we have it. I actually have a model here from uh Severinka, Samake Severinka, I think it's on top of my head, which adds more cocktails to the list of cocktails or drinks that you can order at the bar. And these are like different types of cocktails. So we have Blue Hawaii, for example, Sweet Night, Night Rose, uh, Cool Day, Blue Lagoon, Gentle Roman. So these are all based on real life cocktails. And it just makes it a bit more different with what you can get as a drink. And I think I'm actually going to just order some, like something cheap because we need to save money for getting some animals. We just paid off our bills. So this is what we can have as a leftover. So why don't we do the, just do the wrench. So she's going to order some drinks. He's going to order some food. And I think they're just going to hang out here and chill for a little while. And just have them explore like the little bar. Like somebody's already dancing here. Dominic Fires is already dancing here. So maybe they will do a little bit of the cow-pow dance. Cow-pow. Cow-pow cow poke dance together um but yeah they're, i think they're just gonna have some fun a little nice night out on the town so they can enjoy a little bit of their their free time and she's not hungry but i think he ordered a plate for just himself actually so maybe we'll have to get her some food a little bit later oh and his mom is calling yes of course we can chat with you like that's no problem, but I actually want to meet some of the sims from the neighborhood. I'm not really seeing anyone who... Hector Laurent, maybe? I'm not seeing anybody who's actually from the pack. Maybe... This woman? It doesn't seem like it because she has... She has custom content, I think, on. Um... Okay, I may have to check if anybody from the pack spawns in. Our doggy is just over here on the dance floor trying to see if they can join the band. Oh, there's a karaoke set here. Maybe you can do some karaoke. Um, yeah, but it's just a nice place where they can enjoy. It's in this nicely located neighborhood area. It's close to the equestrian center. Although, we cannot rescue a horse right now, which is something that I do want to do this episode. But it's just like a nice huge area that we can explore. Maybe we can do a little bit of excavating as well for some money. And there is this like burned down place too. It looks burned down. There are some things that we can excavate. And it looks like there's a fire. There's some fireflies here. I was like, is there a fire going on? It looks like somebody may have used this shack. What are you doing right now? You are having a chatty family call? What about your drink? Is your drink already done? You're not waiting. Oh no, don't go to sleep, girl. Please do not go to sleep. Eat the curry worse, worse than that. And maybe you two can do a little bit of karaoke afterwards but right now just have a drink and have some fun oh you i think your rent is actually here drink this one too okay they're doing a little country duet and they do not sound good but it's all about having fun right because that's that's what you're doing karaoke for it's not about saying great it's about having fun so I'm gonna pause at a nice time so we actually can have a nice picture to look at on. <laughs> oh, this is a good picture. I think this is cute. But they've acquired the singing skill and he actually does have a nice singing voice. So he should get a lot better at karaoke a lot faster. Oh, and a, this one is going all out. Hector Laurent. 
But he should be getting the singing skill a lot faster, so maybe we can do some more karaoke more often, and they can actually do a little bit of um, a fun time together. And they're also gonna dance together. I think they're not gonna do a wedding group dance, but they may do a little slow dance. I think they're doing a lot of slow dance together, so I think it would be nice. And May is actually scared of large crowds. She actually has a fear of crowded places. Oh, so she doesn't like to be in huge crowds. So this is definitely not her scene. And she's gonna go to the toilet first before she... Piece her pants while in the um, dance floor or on the dance floor. So use the bathroom, and I think that's. Oh no, that's. I was like, is that autumn over there? No. But it's. I can understand why you would say that you don't like huge crowds. Uh, huge crowds. So maybe just go to the toilet, and since she's feeling very uncomfortable, too many sims. Uh, maybe they will just go home. I think he's also tired. She's been tired. I think it's good for them to go to re uh, rest. And then tomorrow when we're working from home again. We will get a rescue horse. Oh no. It's the next morning. And I think our girl is sick. Because she needs to be comforted. We need to ask what's wrong. And there's actually small pet poop. Which... Will be good fertilizer actually. Can we fertilize our plants already? We can sell some. And it needs gardening level 3. So we cannot fertilize. I think I may need the pep poop over there. But I think we're gonna have to go into the vet clinic to take care of our little doggy. Let's hope that it doesn't cost too much. So we don't lose the money that I actually wanted to use for um, for buying a rescue horse. But first, get some food. You need some insulin too. So why don't you inject some insulin as well? And then I think we are gonna go with you... And you with May and Daisy into the um Yeah, she should be see your bed. Okay, she's also in heat, so we may No, not asking uh what's wrong again. So we may also um have her mate with some other dogs because I think it would also be nice to have some puppies. So there are a few things that we can do and a few things that I'm going to do today. But the majority that we need to do is get a rescue horse. Uh, I may rescue a foal. But I want to see if we can get a, a, rec like an, a mare or a stallion instead. But if, we do if we're not able to, if it's just... A fall or an elder. I'm gonna go for the fall so we can train the fall up. Uh, and let's see. But we're gonna visit Autumn's shelter, uh, vet and shelter clinic. And I need to grab my piece of paper to check. But this is actually the... Where did I have it listed? Because I did write it down. This is the... Um, starter vet clinic by Sarah LaCroix. And this is actually what I used to place down. And I had Autumn buy it. So it is actually her vet clinic. I made her a vet as well. So she does know what to do. And we're just going to say hi to her friend. And see if she can help our little doggy. So Autumn is not here. But Ariel Gibson is. So we are going to um, check in. And see if we can... Cure her little doggy because I feel so sad. It's a really small, really cutesy vet clinic, but I think it really fits the the scenery. I think it's really nice looking. Is this where originally there was supposed to be a home here? 
But I demolished it in place of that clinic because I think it does suit for a town like Chestnut Ridge to have a, a vet clinic and to actually have a way to take care of pets. What we're also going to do, I think it's where I need to check out where I can buy it actually. But I want to buy some, um, some stuff that we can also give some vet treats to to our little doggy uh, in case she needs uh she gets sick more often because she's fighting a lot with the squirrels so i think she's gonna get sick a lot more and we cannot force her to i think blue is actually a girl as well i was gonna say i want her to mate with somebody but we do need a male dog and all <laughs> I'm gonna check if we will see a male dog come over here, but I will try to see if we can have our girly mate. But I don't think... Yeah, Blue is a female, so I'm not sure if we can actually have a dog over here that we can mate with. Okay, so apparently Daisy has Gilded Guts Disorder, and... I want to give the expensive treatment, but we don't have the money for it. Plus, we actually need 250 simoleons for a horse. So, we cannot even buy... We can barely buy a horse now. So, she has the cone of shame. Oh, poor, poor baby. She's looking so sad with the cone of shame. But we are gonna give her, like, some huggies. We're gonna... Just praise her like you're a good girl. I know, you, I know. And we're just gonna talk to her and we're just gonna let her know that she's a good girl and head back home. I don't think... Ooh, Coco is here as well. I don't think we have an actual... I think, that, yeah, this is an adult, but I'm not sure if there's actually a pet that we can still mate with. So we're just gonna give her a little bit of love and then we're gonna head back home. Okay, so I was gonna head back home, but I actually want to rescue a horse from the equestrian center. I know we can also do it by clicking on the horse pet. But let's see. Ooh, Tipsy Doodle sounds very nice. Um, I actually posted a poll before posting this series at all where I asked you guys what the name of the horse would be. And you guys voted on the name Fleetheart. So we will rename the horse to Fleetheart. But we have Bunny here, which is a mare. She's needy, fearful, and defiant. We have Dipsy Doodle, who is a filly. She's aggressive, fearful, and mellow. Then we have an elder stallion. An adult stallion, who is fearful, energetic, and defiant. An elder mare. And full, a cold, full, uh, a cold, who is defined aggressive and fearful. Mm, okay. So I think I'm debating between Mo, Dipsy Doodle, and Bunny. But I think I do want to have Falls myself. So I may get Bunny uh, because she can get full. We can have her breed already. She is needy, fearful, and defiant. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But we are going to have this girl added to our house. She's going to... Wait. What happened? Okay. A lot of things happened. But we do not have our horse. So let's see. Can I not get my horse? We're going to try again. Rescue horse. Bunny. She doesn't like you scribes, I know girl, but can you please get a horse? Okay, I think she's doing it now. We'll see. And we have a horse. So Bunny is gonna be renamed to Fleetheart. And her last name is optional, so I'm gonna keep it as Fleetheart, no last name. But let's see, how are they gonna get out of here? Can I get a picture of this because of course I do love taking pictures in my series okay so it is May but is the horse walking 
with you? Or where's our horse? Our horse is in the equestrian center. Okay, I think so. So I think Bunny or Fleetheart, I am going to call our Bunny a few more times, probably, is going to walk out, I think, too. So let's wait until we see our horse. And I may talk to Sienna as well. To, if she's still here, um, to see what we can learn about about horse training and if she can help us as well. But we have our horses still inside, but we got a pop-up. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room. Go to the outdoor section and then animals. Helpful items may include the Hey Now Animal Feeder, Hey Now Horse Water Trout, which you already have. Hey now horse bed, which we have. Hey now one big bowl. We still need to buy that one, but I need to check if we have the money. And the horse jumps or barrels. But the there's a lot of horse jumps and barrels er, uh, in the town itself. If you just check this area, there's already like a few things that we can uh, make use of. So it should be fine to not have any like jumps or barrels. We can just go into town or in the neighborhood and practice. But we have a little horse, so let's see once she comes out. Are you coming out, little one? Where are you? Oh, there she is! And she has a little bow! What a cutie! What a cutesy! And I do have a replacement skin uh, four horses, goats, and or mini goats and mini sheep, just because I want them to look a little bit more realistic. So, this one was actually recommended through a video from Living Dead Girl, and she has some amazing like mods that you can help you with, um, with the horse ranch pack. So. Definitely recommend watching her video and watching her series because she's been doing an amazing horse ranch series. And basically, there's a lot of tips that I uh, saw that I can use in my series as well. So we are gonna ask her how it's going. We're gonna brush her coat. We're gonna scratch neck. We're just gonna do like a few interactions to get her to like us and then we're gonna head home but we now have a horse and a dog so our household has gone a little bit bigger and we are also gonna introduce ourselves to Sierra we're gonna do a polite introduction I think we're gonna do a friendly introduction and let's see if we can get a little bit of interaction with our horse and then also with Sierra Okay, so we met Sienna and Juniper Grove is also here, so I quickly introduced ourselves to her as well. She is actually our neighbor, she thinks we are fun to be around and we think she's an interesting sin. And regarding Sienna, she thinks we're fun to be around as well and we think she's responsible and I do see another... I see Marissa Tracy here as well, who is also I think a sim that came with the Back. I think she's from the nectar making household. So let's introduce ourselves to her as well. So we have a few introductions done. And then we will head over home unless I can also introduce ourselves to Umber Grove, the husband of um, Juniper. So we're just going to do a few introductions so we actually know some people in town. And then we're going to take our dog and our horse and show our soon-to-be husband that we rescued a horse while we were taking our dog to the vet. Not sure how he's gonna react, but I think he's... he's gonna be okay with it. Let's hope he's gonna be okay with it. Alright, so we are home and that means that Carson has to introduce himself to Fleetheart. They're acquaintances right now. I think these two are actually friends already so we do have to work on a job which i think i'm going to do in the meantime as well so he needs to 
Fox. Mr. Carrot Hammett. I was gonna have him talk to Fleetheart. But we are gonna... Watch Mr. Fleetheart. Or Mr. Carrot... Mr. Carrot Hammett and Fleetheart. Too many names that I'm gonna confuse. Uh, she actually wants to level up in horse riding. So can we saddle Fleetheart? And this is actually a mob by Little Miss Sam's, also uh, recommended by Living That Girl Sims. Um, wait, we are gonna clean her hooves first. So horse care. We're gonna clean hooves. We're gonna hand feed her prairie grass hay. So she gets a little bit more familiar with us. She's a little bit happy with us. Then we're going to saddle her and mount her. So what the mob by Little Miss Sam does, and it's on the video by Living That Gal Sims, it's you can decide on whether you want to use a saddle to ride horses or to just mount them without a saddle, which is not an in-game option. And this is actually nice because in that, this case... If you want, if you are a machinima creator, which I sometimes do, and you want to play with like some decades or in different timing, the items in game don't always work with that ID. So in this case, you can actually use it to be a little bit more realistic in what you want to film. But we are gonna. Be a little bit nicer to the fox who is peeing on... Oh no, I think he's scared, but he is looking at us. And I think we're just gonna sing to her, to him. And we're gonna talk with him. And I think we can be a little bit friends. Because we do need to socialize five times with a fox, rabbit or bird. So this would be good. And are you actually riding? She's riding the horse and... Oh my goodness, this looks so cute. Fleetheart looks so cute. Okay, she's on a horse for the ter first time. Their own horse, their rescue horse. And I'm gonna have her do a little bit of practicing. So she is just gonna ride around. She's gonna explore. And she is gonna go for a relaxed ride. And I think this is amazing that she is gonna make her dream come true. Like she always wanted to have horses as a kid. And she had a tough childhood. And this is her making her dream come true. Like she's not doing well walking on the horse. Like it's her first time, of course. Or walking on or sitting on the horse. But she... She and Fleetheart are gonna get through this. She and Fleetheart are gonna learn and they're gonna go into races and they are gonna have an amazing time. He no, don't cry. Don't cry. Work in the garden instead. Why don't you harvest the bluebells? So your lovely girlfriend, your lovely fiance, can use them to make some flower arrangements. And why don't you then sell the green peas? sell the carrots so we have a bit more money and we are gonna keep interacting with the little fox with little mr carrot and we are gonna try to see if mr carrot doesn't of is fine with us building up a friendship so he doesn't steal from us anymore I think we also need to find something that we can give to Mr. Carrot. So I'm gonna check give gift. Um, we can give him a flower. So why don't we actually give him a flower? He's still scared of us. But let's see. If we give him a flower. That's our five interactions. Let's see if it helps. And in the meantime... She is still riding. She is not doing well. Like she, this is the first time that she ever gained the horse uh, riding skill. But she met some more people in town. She is doing. Um, she's doing better. Like she's finally feeling 
in a place where she's happy after losing their son. And we just became friends. <laughs> we just became friends. Did he not like the gift? He did not like the gift. We just have become friends and he doesn't like the gift. But since he is here, we have do not have enough friendship to actually build up and ask not to steal. I am gonna put this over here so it's a little bit out of the way and no, don't step into it. I'm also gonna socialize with our chicken. So we are gonna smother our chicken with love. We are gonna pet enthusiastically. And I'm hoping she ages up soon. I'm hoping she is very happy. She's clean. She's full. Um, we're now level 2 of singing. But I am going to check if there's a few more things that we need to do. And otherwise I'm going to have him practice programming. I'm not going to have uh, her do some research. I know it's not going to be good for the money. But we, I'm not going to go into uh, Foxbury every single time. So if we, every few days it's fine. Not every single time, so in this case, I may just um, may just have her forgo it. Like we will get a research machine later on, but now it's it's fine. She's still writing. She's looking. Like she's feeling flirty. She's doing fine, but she's looking a little bit scared about her first time writing. But I think it's also nice for her to see like how it's going. And are you actually? You're driving, you're riding to this empty lot, or is this where the uh, Grow family lives? But I'm gonna have her uh, work on her horse riding skill for a little bit. And when she's done, when she feels content, once the horse feels content, I think I'm going to have her tutor student online. He's going to practice programming, and I think we're going to end the episode here. Oh, he's giving himself a pep talk. Little cutie. You are not going to flirt with Danica. You are not going to flirt with Danica. Like, I know he can be sometimes a little bit flirty without actually meaning it, but no flirting with Danica. No, we did not see this. We do not know about this. We're just going to sit in this chair. And we are going to practice programming. And we are going to reach horse riding level 3. Which means we can now direct horse to practice basic and advanced jumps by themselves at the horse jumps. At the horse battles may, may now also direct horse to practice barrels and race barrels by themselves. So there are a few things that we can do. But we are going to end this episode here. I hope it's not too short. But unfortunately I do have to go soon. My boyfriend has been on holiday with his friends for a week now. And I'm going to pick him up tonight at the airport. So I do have to make sure that this video is edited in time. As well as another video is filmed for the rest of the week. And clean up some stuff. So unfortunately I do have to stop the video here. But at least we can stop with us finally having a horse. Finally starting to actually do this horse wrench uh, part of the, the series. So she is now having a milestone of rest of getting a George, uh, horse of Fleet Heart joining the family. And I think he got that milestone too. He didn't get the milestone unfortunately because maybe she's the one who rescued Fleet Heart. But I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you guys liked that we have a little bit more advancement. It's picking up a bit slowly. But I don't want to rush through the series. And rush through what we can do in this series. And not focus on the storytelling. So it may not always go as fast as you may like. And that's fine. But I do want to focus on just exploring this back. On having some fun with a little bit of storytelling in there. So... If you like that, click that little like button down below. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the series. Anything that you want to explore. Anything that you think uh, is nice to have. And I will do it. And also make sure you f 
vote on the poll that I'm gonna place today after this video goes live um, about the little name or about the name for a little chick. And if you're not subscribed yet and don't want to miss out on either a chaotic or wholesome video, make sure you click that subscribe button. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. Thin eyes, walking on my own. Should I let it?